voted Best Female Vocalist by the Syracuse New Times two years in a row. This Central New York native knows how to entertain the crowd. But like most of us, she still has to show up to her day job. Good morning, it's Ashley at CX Tech. How are you? Ashley Cox, one of the faces behind the sales calls that you usually just let go to voicemail. She is an account executive at CX Tech in Syracuse and works entirely on commission. And after almost 10 years on the job, she knows how to get you to buy her company's products. Ashley's right now is way ahead of her goal for the year, and I think it's it's potentially going to be the best year she's ever had. Even in, in the new space, we can save you guys a lot of money. During the day, she types away on her keyboard, but at home, she strokes a different set of keys. I always think about myself as an artist. When people ask me what I do, um, that the first thing that I want to talk about is my music. Ashley comes from a family of musicians and remembers hearing music constantly play in her house. My dad being a great piano player, I always was, I would watch her l just listen to my father playing Bach and Beethoven and I could hear this, this song over and over again. Before Ashley was born, her father played professionally, working on off-Broadway shows in Manhattan and catching the eye of rock stars. Ashley's father turned down an opportunity to play for the Grateful Dead, eventually choosing a truck route and a life on the road so he could build a home for his family. He knew we had to get another job because we wanted to get a house and things that you need to raise a family. Yeah. And I always thought he deserved to be just a full-time musician. I felt bad sometimes that my dad had to sacrifice his talent and just work hard. Ashley did not want to make those same sacrifices. Singing and playing, that's all I wanted to do. And I was meeting Grammy award-winning producers and shaking hands with lawyers. I thought, oh my God, you know, I, I'm gonna get a record deal. Who do I wanna go on tour with? But the deals and the tours never came. And after nearly a decade of pursuing music professionally, Ashley decided to move on. I said, no, why do you want to do that? Yeah, that sounds right. But, sounds about right. Because I wanted her to keep playing. I didn't want to be a poor, starving artist forever. So Ashley decided it was time to find a big girl job. Ashley the worker. <laughs> to be a rock star at her job, Ashley gets creative. She mentions her, her music and her website and stuff so people can go and, and, and see what she's about. Because I think what makes me successful at my job is the fact that I, I am an artist and I am creative. That's how you differentiate yourself. You, know, you have to be able to do something a little bit different. and She sure is different. <laughs> and the sales help her music. I believe that I've written some of the best songs that I've ever written because the amount of the, my window to do so got really small. And no plan, no great escape, no time to waste. And you'll find Ashley spending her limited free time on stage because she performs about 50 shows a year. And if I mention her name, they're like, oh, yes, I love her, I've seen her. It's really cool to have that. Ashley's passion and success inspire her daughter, Chloe. I'd like to bring my daughter, Chloe, up here with me. Everybody give Chloe a hand. The mother and daughter share the spotlight, passing the family's musical tradition on to another generation. So when I get up there, I think of her like my buddy, like my good friend that sings really well and has trained me to sing really well. Um, when we get going, it's so strange. I, I it's like hear one sound because we both sound so similar. I love my life. I've worked for 20 years at being who I am. So rock star, I rock. I know that I rock. <laughs> Many of us are not living the lives we dreamed of, but Ashley has composed a way to live happily. 
and in a real world where hopes and aspirations soar and shatter, Ashley continues to chase her dreams. In Syracuse, Kate Capadano. <laughs>